Hello everyone, today I want to show you something that I just found out. Normally in TF2, there's a command called third person, and it says you're not allowed to use it without SV cheats 1 enabled. Currently I'm on Burghausen, which is a medieval game mode, and if I type in TF medieval third person 1, it It works! Ah, apparently you enter the code and switch a class and it, it is working! Yo, let's go engineer gaming! I just recently found out this and I find it extremely cool and I wanted to share this with you. I really wish if there was an advanced option here that you could enable this instead of having to enter a command to do this. Obviously, this feature is only available when you're playing medieval mode and in other game modes this is not available. But that's fine. Although, since I'm really used to playing TF2 as <laughs> at first person mode, it is incredibly weird to like trying to hit people in the third person mode, but you definitely can get used to it. And the extra FOV it gives you is actually really good. Oh my god, I'm dead. But other than that, I don't have much to talk about. I'm just gonna play the game and uh, talk. So if you wanna, you can leave the video. Make sure to leave a like so more people can see this video. But yeah, I hope this video helped you. It is incredibly weird to play with a third person mode. You, come here. What is happening to my game? <laughs> I am getting DDoSed. Oh my god, I'm dead. Okay, let me try the sniper with a um, crossbow. I don't know how that's gonna work. Oh, it works. It, it works like you would think it is. Obviously, like, if I aim like this, I shoot the wall, it doesn't... Um, there's some perspective differences, but if I'm shooting afar, it's gonna work. So if you're playing as a sniper, it might not be the best way to play, but it's still really cool to be able to see myself, being able to see my cosmetics and stuff. Good job, Heavy. Oh my god, I killed him. They should really make this an option, like I said, in the advanced options, because I feel like a lot of people would be interested in playing like this. But in reality, the medieval mode doesn't see much love. I really want to see more um, maps for the medieval mode being added to the game and stuff. Or even having its own category under like here. Here we have payload rays. Why not add it as stuff that says medieval mode and you'll be able to have a couple of maps. What are you doing? Oh, that was a nice shot. Since a lot of people are gonna ask, let's play some Demonite 2. Here I come. Oh yeah, I got him. This is so fun with the third person. It it, it makes it more interesting, or almost more immersive. Are you a spy? Oh my god. <laughs> he also had a Zatoichi. I wanna know if you all knew about this, because I never knew this. I have been playing this game for 3,000 3, hours, and this is the first time I'm seeing this. Hey yo. <laughs> Random crits. Let's go. Okay, that's a spy. That's not me. Oh, almost getting, almost getting backstabbed, but it's kind of unfair for spies because you, you, because the FOV is much larger. I'm able to see my behind, so this might be unfair towards spies. Maybe, just that's what I think. Oh, okay, damn, my man, charge! Oh, I missed him. Please don't random crit me. Oh yeah, let's get on the point. Oh, it's really, it's really messing with my thing. I don't know when to, it's, I'm really not used to this. Oh, I'm popping off though. Let's go. Come here, let me whip you. Yo, let's go heavy. Yo, he's popping off that heavy. He is the heavy. <laughs> His name is the heavy. Of course he's gonna be the best. I must help him out by whipping him. We will go fast and furious. Go heavy, go! Oh no, we're getting sniped. Go! I'll help you out. Oh, he's actually good. Oh, give me your sandwich! Ah! <laughs> oh, double whip! I'm whipping their ass. Heavy, let's go heavy! Oh, how did he get up there? 
Oh no, I must help you out. Get him! Medieval mode is such a vibe. It's one of those game modes that you just turn your brain off, press W, mass one. The whip might be the best weapon in TF2. Not gonna lie, it's really good. Oh, I'm dead. If I'm not mistaken, it should have one of the largest ranges, so you, you're literally a able to hit people from a mile away. It has a ridiculous range. <laughs> You know, it also has random crits. Charge! My tactic is whipping this heavy. <laughs> it is, and it's working so far. By the way, one thing that maybe this is on fairy side, I am able to peek around the corner like this. Since a lot of people don't notice, they might be like, oh, that person was cheating, they're wall hacking. Meanwhile, I'm just using something that Valve allowed us. And I'm glad they did. Let's go! They also whip! They're catching on to my tactic of whipping people. Like, even the speed gain you get from the whip is ridiculous. The good. Oh, I didn't realize that this whole time I had a thing. Let me use it. This is gonna help us really good. Nice! <laughs> oh, let me just go to the point. I don't mess around. <laughs> I didn't realize how goofy it is to like switch weapons in third person. Boop. It magic the switches between two weapons. Magic. Actually, let me try out something else. Maybe like Medic. I wonder what the Medic is gonna be like. Medic has a knife. He does not mess around. Uh oh. So if you wanna aim, you definitely should uh, just go with the third person. Otherwise, if you just wanna be melee, maybe it plays a demonite or whatever. Third person is good. Not that you're not able to aim, but uh, it gets. Oh, uh, you need to <laughs> get used to it. Ow! What? How is it a single hit? Is that the solar light? Are we fighting in a solar light? I'll show you. I'm the fast boy now. I'm fast boy, and I got a knife. I'm running with a knife. I don't mess around. Oh god. Yo, let's go. I'm following you, dude. We're the scouts. Huh? The random cut on that. The Scotsman skull cutter is insane. It's insane the amount of random cuts they should get. Can I get a random cut, please? I am not sure if I'm ever gonna get a random cut. We need more scouts. I got it. <laughs> Max dab. Actually, I should try out a spider. <laughs> this is a <laughs> this is the battle of the year. <laughs> Let me try a spy. So I should be able to disguise. Also, oh, go invisible as well. Oh, I'm able to see myself when I'm invisible. That's really interesting. Uh oh, there's a lot of ammo boxes. Good. <laughs> Please. Let me go. I missed. I don't have a gun. Oh, backstab. <laughs> Got a trick stab in third person mode. Damn, I must be a really good spy. I definitely did not get that uh, by accident. I'm coming in. Don't bump into me. Oh, this is my own dead body. Let me go here. Okay. Oh, I missed. I'm not sure how, how the trick stab gonna work. It is difficult to tell uh, when you're able to backstab a person because uh, it, it, there is no indication. You just have to play with your own own with your own instincts. Excuse me. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I can do the spike grab. I can do the spike grab. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't realize. Hold on a second. I was trying to do that or something. You can't see yourself doing the spike grab. Oh my god. <laughs> no. They're gonna shoot me. Don't kill me. But anyways, I think that'll be it for today. I hope this video helps you out. It's a pretty fun thing to use. I got more videos coming soon, so make sure to subscribe. If you liked the video, like, and see you in the next video. Bye!